we got out, there's some logistical issues that got us on the water a little later than I would have liked. Long story short, we did not make it to the place where I wanted to be at 7 o'clock. Good point. We fished docks on the way there, and, and actually, I mean, it could have ended up being everything considered, it could have been a totally different day. Goals for today are to swing for the fence. So today is all about trying to catch a big one, 24 inches, 23.35 and up is all that we'll do. Now, those bass are here, no question. It's just, will we find them? represent New Mexico and and Hobie as well as I can. Yep. This is not going to help at all in the grand scheme of things, but it's... Yeah. So won't put you in the money? Traditional bass fishing out of glitter boats, mortality rate can be as high as 30%, which means three out of 10 fish die. Whereas our mortality rate is less than 1%, which means one in 100 fish that we catch dies. So it's better for the fishing. We want the fish to be there tomorrow. I want your kids to be able to fish for that same bass, or at the very least, that bass is offspring because it was a fun thing for me to catch it. And if it doesn't live to produce more fish, nobody else is ever gonna be able to experience what I just experienced. This is my first KBF event, first time on Toledo Bend, and decided, hey, you heard about the $10,000 payout, and thought, Gotta give this a shot. My third time here at Toledo Bend. Still looking for the big one. I had a decent day yesterday. Today it was a little disappointing. I didn't get my limit, but it's still a great time. Got my limit both days. It's not a big limit, but uh, proud to come out to a lake this big and, and put down a limit, to be honest. This is my first big event. At one point I was in uh, 11th place for big bass and 13th place for this tournament. Uh, I may still be in the money today and so you know for a newcomer in the sport uh, it's just real exciting and I would just encourage anybody who's thinking about it to uh, come on in. The water's fine. Not only did he catch his personal best, big bass, but he's also going to take home $1,428. Your Challenge Series champion is Mr. Jason Broach from Florida. I'm Matt Scotch from Fort Worth, Texas and I am the back-to-back -back KBF champion on Toledo Bend. I picked one bay, I fished it the three years this tournament's gone on. I got second place the first year and first place the last two, so, you know, just pick a spot, learn it, and, uh, you know, that's my best attempt. Hey, this is Jeff Sherwood. I um, live in Taos, New Mexico now. I fish for the Hobie Regional uh, National Team, so I'm on the Hobie fishing team, and we're at Toledo Bend. Uh, Louisiana Texas border fishing in the KBF Open and the Challenge 100 series. So I actually asked Alex to come down here and film this week to get some perspective on this incredibly 
diverse and growing sport. Uh, as you can see in, in the video, I'm sure uh, so many different personalities and, and all over the country. There's literally people here from, from all of the lower 48 states and Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Uh, and the, the sport grows and grows every year. Uh, statistically, I think it grows about 35% a year, which is the fastest growing sport in the world. So we get to fish out of these giant hunks of plastic uh, and we're fishing for $25,000. The national championship in March is a guaranteed $100,000 first prize and KBF and Chad Hoover are, are pretty much the undisputed kings of this sport as far as the tournament trail. But there's a million different tournament trails and clubs and events for people to enter. So um, one of the things that I asked Alex to do is come down and film this so that, uh, so that people could get an idea of how wonderful the sport is. So hope you enjoy the video. I'm in it a lot, so uh, and I apologize if I swear because I didn't fish so well this week, but we're gonna go see who won, so.